God is good. And today, guys, we're going to be talking about Ultima Online because they have announced something pretty freaking awesome, and that's that they're launching new legacy servers. So I'm going to do my best with the information available at the time it's recording to explain to you what these new legacy servers are and what it entails and all the juicy bits and details. Now, before we begin, if you are new here, please consider subscribing, especially if you're interested in old school MMORPGs. That's mainly what we cover here. Of course, I specialize in Pantheon Rise of the Fallen, but I also cover JRPGs, CRPGs, RPGs, all that kind of thing. And a big shout out to the members of Napalm for keeping the lights on, keeping me in business. I really appreciate you guys. And if you are interested in becoming a member of Napalm with special Special perks, please click the join button down below for more information. Now guys, first up, what is Ultima Online New Legacy? Well, first of all, Ultima is Ultima Online is one of the longest running MMORPGs of all time. They've been around for over 23 years, and the world of Britannia has changed a ton, a lot, since the game launched around 1997. Now, what they're doing here is a campaign to try to get new players, and old ones of course, to come and forge a new destiny in Britannia with a brand new shard or server focused on returning Ultima Online to its roots as an RPG. Now keep that in mind as we continue forward because it's super important to understanding what the new Legacy Shard is. Now it's going to have an original map of Britannia. When I say original, at first I read that and I thought they meant original as in when the game launched. But no, what they mean by that is that it's actually going to be the original map of Britannia from when Ultima was actually conceived. Not Ultima Online, but Ultima as an RPG. It's also going to have a customized role set that focuses on an RPG type experience. They have rethought, reworked, and redesigned a lot of the core gameplay experiences with the goal of the classic feel of Ultima and Ultima Online. And once again, focusing down deep on the RPG elements of Ultima as a series. As you play on the new Legacy server, you will be living your avatar's quests through Britannia with each adventure, deciding where to go, what battles you'll fight, what victories, and what bitter defeats you will accomplish, the friends you will make, because of course this is an MMO, what enemies will you topple. These are your choices in the new Britannian Legacy. Now it's going to come up, is Ultima Online new Legacy? Is it a classic show? No, not exactly. It is a complete reworked, rethought, and redesigned experience to Ultima Online. Once again, focusing on the RPG elements. The focus has been to take the experience and everything they've learned over the years to create a new world with the classic nostalgia and expanding upon what works and redesign what does not and improve the game world with new technical limitations. And this includes the game world itself, skills and gear progression, resource gathering, crafting, socializing, and PvP. They will be releasing more features and information highlighting all the changes coming up soon. This does have a new system called the Legacy System, which they describe as an engine by which you write your avatar's story as they live their life in Britannia. Instead of writing a memoir, instead you experience these live and live those experiences in real time within the world to be seen by generations to come. Special commendations and medals for acts of virtue, and they speak of Britannian heroes with statues, paintings, and busts to be preserved for future generations of your avatar. All these things and more is possible with the Legacy System. Now the differences between Ultima Online Live, regular, and Ultima Online New Legacy are as follows. Ultima Online New Legacy is a completely custom rule set server. While the fundamentals of gameplay remain the same between a live server and Ultima Online New Legacy, the implementation of those fundamentals has been redesigned to focus on the roots of Ultima as an RPG. 
At the conclusion of each season of Ultima Online New Legacy, the world will end in a cataclysmic event and will be reborn with fresh adventures to be had, and a new legacy to be forged. How many of these new legacy shards or servers will there be? There will actually only be one at the launch located in the United States. Who's eligible? Do you have to pay a subscription fee, or can you access it with their endless journey or free account? Both actually can access it, although of course there are the same limitations from the Endless Journey will apply in New Legacy, such as housing and things like that. They also made it clear that they will continue to support the live game and address any critical issues as they arise. Now, the big question for me, because there's been rumors that Ultima Online is going to be coming to Steam soon, and when I heard this news about the New Legacy, I thought, wow, what a perfect time to release it to Steam with new servers and that kind of thing. However, it was asked of them about that, in which they replied, in order to enjoy Ultima Online, new legacy you will simply need to download the client from uo.com and log into the game using your account credentials it's as simple as that so no announcement yet of becoming to steam or anything of that nature now new legacy is broadsword who actually makes and designs Ultima Online these days. It is their biggest and boldest endeavor in over a decade, and they are saying they're devoted to getting it right. They do have a target release window in mind, but they're not ready to share that just yet, at least at the time of this recording. Now, there also will be exclusive treasures to find on the Ultima Online New Legacy Shard that you cannot get anywhere else on any other server or shard. Now, let's talk a little bit about that shattering. So Ultima Online New Legacy is about forging your Britannian legacy. While things like the economy and the game world will be reset during the shattering, players will have an entire year to forge that legacy. In-game items and events will serve as mementos to that legacy and will be experienced by generations to come. Can you transfer on or off of the Ultima Online New Legacy shard? At the conclusion of the shattering, characters will be able to transfer off the Ultima Online New Legacy shard, keeping all their skill, stat, and legacy progress they earned to shards with available character slots. Non-shard bound items and items earned via the legacy system can also be transferred off. And yes, there will also be the live events which has made UO so popular, and they said that live events will offer your avatar the ability to earn unique rewards and recognition, especially as you forge your new Britannian legacy. The global events will help tell the story and immerse you into the narrative as you follow the life cycle of the shard from start to finish. The question then is, how will you be part of that story? Now, Ultima Online has two different clients. They have the Classic and the Enhanced Client available at this time, and you can use either one. Now, one of the more interesting things, although we don't have a lot of details on, is it was asked, will there be open world PvP? In which they replied, the Ultima Online New Legacy Shard will support open world player versus player combat using an updated Vice versus Virtue framework. So I know for a lot of really old school Ultima Online players, not having the same kind of open world PvP experience really changed the game a lot. A lot of people agreed with it, a lot of people didn't. I had friends who actually don't like the game anymore because of Feluca and where, you know, there's two different worlds, one with PvP and one without that you can transfer between. So there's a safe haven for people who don't want to open world PvP and all that kind of thing. So we'll just have to see how they do it a little differently. It sounds like they're not going to do the Feluca thing. Thing. At least that's the way I'm reading it in the new legacy server. So let me know in the comments down below What do you think is this maybe making you a little tempted to go back and play some good old Ultima online or not? Let me know in the comments down below what you think of this new legacy announcement And of course if you're new here, please consider subscribing and a big shout out to the members of napalm Thank you all so much for your support and if you're interested in becoming a member, please click the join button down below for more information. And until next time, guys, God bless and happy gaming. Please listen to what I say. I've been making videos all day. It's a video buffet. You can even hit replay. But please just subscribe. I can't even describe Being part of my tribe I'll even offer you a fry But just please just subscribe And hit the bell notification too